Hello chess lovers, Sunan here and in this video I want to share with you a little known chess miniature which deserves to be famous. The combination is really very good, moreover the final position is one in a million. With the white piece is playing a chess player named Edelman and his opponent is Belarusian Russian chess master Isaac Maisel. The game was played in 1928 in Minsk. This is actually Maisel's immortal game. So Edelman who was playing with the white pieces opened up with e4 to which Maisel responded with e5, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop c4 we have the Italian game against which black answered with two knights defense knight f6. With this move black is inviting white to target this vulnerable f7 pawn. Knight g5 is on the board after which Maisel chose a very rare continuation knight takes e4. Well, in here the main move is considered to be d5, or you can even go for hyper-aggressive Truxler counter gambit, but instead we have this rare looking knight takes e4 move, and with a precise approach white can quickly get a completely winning position. The idea of knight takes e4 is to meet knight takes e4 with d5 winning back the sacrificed pawn. Or after knight takes e4, if you play knight takes f7, then again this line favors black, black can create a mating threat. You should play queen e2 and knight d4, black is doing great, you know. By the way, I have to tell you that in here g3 is not good because of this knight takes g3 followed by queen e4 check and yeah, white is in trouble. Let's go back in our game after knight takes e4, we have bishop takes f7 check, which is the most accurate move. King e7 and knight takes e4. In here the engine suggests d4, with which white is not only opening up the dark squared bishop's diagonal, but is also opening up the center and then after castling can create an unstoppable attack. But instead we have knight takes e4 and king takes f7 by Maisel. d3, queen f3 looks more active, but now we will see that Edelman is not a strong player and he's starting to make mistakes one after another. king e8, queen h5 check g6, queen f3, queen d7, white castled kingside, knight d4. We have a double attack, that's why white played queen d1, and queen g4, black is offering the exchange of queens. And queen d2, after which black is managing to gain a huge advantage. Instead, it was better to play f3. By the way, I have to tell you that accepting the offer of exchange of queens is not really good. After bishop takes g4, black is not only threatening to play knight takes c2, but also h6, emphasizing the vulnerability of this knight. But instead of playing f3, we have queen d2 and h6, black is harassing the misplaced white knight. And what are you going to play? If you move like knight h3, then knight f3 can follow, you are losing your queen. That's why in view of this threat, white first played f3 with the idea of kicking away the queen and then moving back the knight. But Instead of choosing the simple queen takes g5 move, which is also winning, Isaac Maisel chose a brilliant line and as we have reached the critical position, you can pause the video and try to find his next moves. Ready? As you can see, the queen on g4 is hanging, but instead of touching that queen or grabbing pieces, Maisel played bishop c5 and sacrificed his queen. White accepted the queen sacrifice, which is a terrible move, is allowing checkmate in 3, but even if not f takes g4, then again white's position is totally lost. So we have f takes g4 and knight e2 double check, king h1, knight g3 check, look at this guys, Blake is also sacrificing his knight and with that move is forcing white to open up the h file h takes g3, after which black captured white knight and announced a checkmate. How do you like this beauty, guys? The bishop is controlling the g1 square and the rook is kill killing white king. And of course, the way 
pawns are lined up on the g file looks fantastic, right? That, that was really a nice combination. What about taking a look at that final combination once again? So after f3, we have bishop c5, white accepted the queen sacrifice, and there it goes. The knight is coming, and then black is capturing white knight, and is announcing a brutal checkmate. In the end, a thematic chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning line for black. It's black to move, and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care!